Okay, kids, here we are. The uh, Valkyrie Tricopter. Get a load of this thing. It is complete. It is working. It looks a whole lot prettier. Uh, it actually even has uh, yaw control now. You can see there. Um, it's a little bit messy yet. Clearly, the battery is just floating on top of the thing, but. Believe it or not, it is actually stable. It's spooky. It's a helicopter training session all over again. And uh, it handles about, I'd say, typical for a helicopter. You just can't be spooky around these things or you will mess up every time. Anyway, everything works like it should now. Uh, the safety arming feature works just fine. Yaw control works like this. You have a... Um, servo that has linkage and it only actually works when the throttle is just a little tick for it. That screwed me up at first. I thought something was really wrong. But see how that works? All it is is a rod there. See that? Rod uh, connecting to a angle bracket. It's very Mickey Mouse. Oh, very, very Mickey Mouse. I might have to work out something a little better because I really don't like it very much. Um, and then, of course, the rest is just motors and speed controllers, that kind of thing. Um, now, I'm not going to get it up in the air per se. I'm just going to skim the floor. And that's how anybody should learn on a helicopter which this is a helicopter, it's just three blades instead of one or two for coax. Um, well, two for, for a single rotor too, because they have the tail rotor. I'm getting off the point. You should always begin by skimming. Get on a big flat surface, like a parking lot or a lawn, even better, and skim like this. Give it just enough power so it's starting to flow. In this way, if you screw up, all you gotta do is be smart enough to cut the throttle and she comes gently back down. You don't drop out of the sky. Oh, watch this. This is so cool. This is how these gyros work. Look at that. They sense movement and attempt to correct. That's what stabilizes a helicopter. This bugger has three of them. One for uh, the yaw control, which is this way. Uh, one for roll, which is this way. And one for pitch, which is this way. And all three work to stabilize the bird on all three axes. Axi. That's the highest I've had it yet, actually. That was deep. There goes my battery. This is good because I'm starting to get breathless. Anyway. So there you are, it actually works. The cool part about this is finally I have my own aircraft that I can practice in the living room on. I don't have to be out in a field constantly. I don't have to worry about wind. I don't have to worry about um, where I'm flying. I can sit right here, wherever in this mess, and uh, and practice right here until I'm confident enough to uh, brave the outdoors with it. <laughs> Pretty slick. I'm liking this. Okay, I'm gonna change the battery and practice some more. And uh, I guess I'll probably just practice until I'm blue in the face with it. Me.
Anyway, um, more to follow, of course. I've still got to rig up the battery properly. I've still got to start work on the FPV system and everything. And, uh, and there will be some changes coming down the pike with the receiver. I've got a Hobby King uh, 2.4 gigahertz uh, spread spectrum receiver and transmitter unit coming for it that'll help eliminate uh, these signal issues I'm having with the bad transmitter here. That's all I had. Anyway, uh, yeah, and I've got to work on this right here. See if I can do something better with that. Um, something a little more solid. Although this does seem to work. It's just not going to be real reliable under fire. Okay, uh, more to follow. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Hope you enjoyed.